Okay, just now when the chanting down there was going on, does it affect you? Huh? Oh, good. But the chanting, you have the understanding, the faith, the vibration go in. Yeah, yeah, very good chanting. Yeah. So at least this time better. Huh? Most of you can do the lying down. Huh? Okay. If you can do about one hour, it's good. And this will slowly settle down, uh, settle down. And later on, when you know how to relax, maintain awareness, then you can rest your body. Yeah. So initially, like uh, some people, uh, they will hear their own snoring, one sound, yeah. then after that, stop. And later on, when you know how to relax deep, then you hear this sound, like, like, like a lot of air coming, just one, then the whole body like relax. That one is to go deep. So all this can happen, but you must do it. When you do it, then it will give you the understanding. And later on, especially when you know how to stay at the heart, uh, even before you detect your gateway, you realize hardly any thought inside there. Like what Alicia last time reported. For the whole period, 45 minutes or one hour, no thought. Uh, then it's inside there. And as you relax, you, you become more and more quiet. Because it goes deep into the nature. Uh, as it goes into that nature, means like you remember Krishnamurti say, the surface yeah, must be quiet before you can go into the deeper aspect of the subconscious and the unconscious. Because if your surface mind is not quiet, cannot go in. And when you go in, it is like a type of samadhi, but it's not the normal uh, pure awareness at the aware level or conscious level. This one is going to the nature. So when it go in, it like the senses are like it cannot be triggered over. It's aware. You want to know, you can know. You don't want to know it's inside there. Inside there. Then when you have the understanding, at any one time, cessation can happen. Yeah. Means your contemplative wisdom and your insight must be penetrated until, even if you have the penetrated insight, after that you must contemplate. It's like, until you truly understand what is the meaning of rupang anicham, rupang anatta. Sabe Sankara Anicham. Unless you understand all this very deeply, very clearly, and it cover all spectrum of Dhamma and phenomena, the mind cannot cease. The mind will only cease when it understand everything is like what the Buddha says, Sabe Sankara Anicham. You attach clean give meaning, Sabe Sankara Dukkang Sabe. Then after that, sabhe dhamma anatta means no reality. Or everything is dependent on creating a condition arising, cause of all. So think also like that. Don't think also like that. Then later you become very sensitive. Very sensitive. Then your mind, even every moment of consciousness that finds suffering, you can feel. Then every moment of every moment, perception is suffering. Every moment of arising of consciousness is suffering. Then when it comes to Sankara, it's worse still. It, it becomes like very sensitive. That mind is suffering. That movement itself is suffering. Even very slow. The, the one thing to perceive is suffering. That the arising of mind is suffering actually. There is a movement where your mind has become so sensitive. Then the time, the nature will tell you. 
you want to suffer, you think. Lah. You have to become miserable. You want to use your Monday mind. Well, when I came out to the private sector to work, it tested me. I tried to read the document. Cannot. Cannot. That time, the, the brain was like lock it's like that every time i try to read i try to accumulate and understand it, it will give me problem and inside there the nature will tell you now you want to suffer you go and read you go and do all these things but don't worry that face is only one of the face after that over you go back to normal so 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 don't panic because during that time, I, I remember it lasts for a few months, a few months. So what I did was, I try not to read, but I go meeting, I must have some facts and data. Yeah. So I decided to take out a notebook yeah, or a piece of paper. So I check contract date, extension of time, all the important uh, data for the meeting on. Uh, because sometimes you need, as consultant, you need to give reason why you give extension to contractor. There is an extension of time. There must be factual reason for you to give. Then the contract date, when the contract expire, after expire, is supposed to be liquidated. Damages LED. Liquidated damages need to be calculated. And as well. Then you need to go to consult a meeting with client, discuss it, then with the understanding, you have to brief them on the findings. So because of that, I need to have those data. So I realize I don't have to read so much. Well, I know where they are. So I click through the file, I look at the, the word letter, then I write down. Yeah, then I don't have to remember. Then I go for meeting. Yeah. But at the meeting, I don't need anything. I only need the data. But I cannot remember. That time cannot hold. This brain has become non grasping It cannot hold on to things. But later on, the face over, the Monday might collapse. Then no more problem. I become normal again. Yeah. But initially, I find it's quite an amazing task to use the supramundane mind to live life. Because it's like no mind inside there, completely no movement. Yeah. Then after a while, I realized I become normal again. Yeah. I can read, I can listen, I can do everything. Yeah. That's why I know the third phase of seeing. Kan san, use the sun, you become normal again. Then uh, the brain also still non grasping, it cannot hold with it. That's why when I share, that moment I share, the memory is not there on it, straight away gone on. Yeah. I can only recall when there is condition. Yeah. When I ask you, why did I go to here? Uh, then you tell me, uh, then I will know why I go to there. Uh, but you ask me to recall, I cannot. Uh, cannot. We have no point. It's like forcing yourself into all these things. So these are the things that will happen later. Uh, because some of you, I think, starting to develop the ability to have this understanding of what awareness is. And you have faith. That's why now you know how to relax, like Manya say, When you relax, she also very surprised she can lie down for so long, the whole 45 minutes, one hour. No problem. Last I cannot. Uh, that's why when you know how to relax, maintain awareness, then just let the body uh, go into that relaxation and move the activity of awareness to help you to actually become different. Then the awareness become more and more quiet, more and more quiet, more and more quiet. Well, as the gross thinking mind ceases, then only you can touch 
the awareness nature. Remember? Once you touch the awareness nature, you still don't know what the thing is because very fast the thinking comes out. Understand? It's like a very fine line. And most people cannot be in the awareness zone where they think a lot. Where you think a lot, you are with the thought. You are not with the awareness. But the moment you know how to relax, maintain awareness, you start to touch the pure awareness. That happening is a very interesting one. Uh, initially, it's, uh, it has its own movement. Then later on, when you become skillful, you understand, then you go into it very fast. You settle into it. So you are all the time your true mind, silent mind. Thought. Then that one can stabilize. Uh, then how it stabilize initially, the movement, it, it varies on. Uh, sometimes the sankara uh, take a while to slow down, especially when you are new. Then you are patient, you don't worry. Then the shift of consciousness will come. And the sudden she will make you very quiet. Then suddenly you like middle of the night can experience the quietness and all. Uh, that mind inside there also said, we have the sankara, the thinking, the movement all slow down, slow down until finally it's this. Uh, when that thinking mind sees the sankara activity, especially the aggregates of mind when it didn't doesn't do all those things anymore. It doesn't perceive, it doesn't think, it doesn't feel, it's just the awareness away. Then you can experience a moment of complete stillness, like everything stops. That is how you develop the awareness based meditation. Okay? Can I understand? Now I can share this because I don't want you all to listen to the knowledge, then go and look for it. People who have done it, they know. So I, my nature is I, well, most of you all can do the lying down. Uh, Whereas earlier on in the retreat, I realized hardly anybody really do it. Uh, but these two, three sessions, different, very good. Uh, whenever I walk in, I saw a lot meditating, silent. Then lie down. Huh? I didn't hear snoring. <laughs> it's a good sign. Uh, otherwise, like orchestra. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, but when you're tired, first two days is normal. Uh, don't worry, you're tired, you need to rest, you rest. Okay?